Welcome back everybody. For those of you who are long time subscribers, this video is gonna be a little bit different. Um, hopefully uh, there will be some hunting content in there. So just putting that out there as a warning because we don't do a lot of hunting here on YouTube. Um, but hopefully if everything lines correctly, we will be doing that in this video. But we're down here at the Ross Hammock Ranch and uh, it's sponsored by Sportsman's Guide, ATN. And we're gonna be using some thermal optics, some night vision optics, hunting hogs, and maybe some other stuff. Who knows, but this place is awesome. Uh, that is the main lodge that you guys see behind me. There's also another lodge you guys will probably see here at some point in the video, but it's basically just gonna be a vlog style video, maybe going over some of the optics and stuff that we're using and uh, hopefully having a good time and uh, putting some meat on the table, but that's pretty much it. Let's get into it. Yeah, that's the deer, that's the psycho. Yep. All right, pigs out, I got it. Mm. Just walked behind it. Mm. All right, there you go. That's it. Damn, it's behind that tree. <laughs> All right, everybody, uh, it is the last night of the event. Uh, again, from Sportsman's Guide and ATN down here at the uh, Ross Hammock Ranch. Some of you may recognize this gentleman, Scott from T Kentucky Ballistics. There will be a link for his channel down below if you guys aren't following him. Lots of entertaining stuff over there on his channel. Um, but in the intro of this video I shot the other day, I mentioned that we might get something. Well, I did. I got a hog night hunting uh, with a thermal scope, uh, probably about 130, 140 yards away. Uh, took it down with a Hornady 140 grain ELD 6.5 Creedmoor for folks who are into that sort of thing. <laughs> uh, that's the info for you. Drop pretty good. Uh, what what did you do out here? I've done everything out of here. <laughs> uh, we we went on some pretty wild hunts. I'll just say that. <laughs> that is true. Uh, there's Instagram footage of it for sure. Yes, it's it's been pretty pretty cool. Quite an experience. I'm used to just deer hunting and things like that. So this was something that I've never done before. So a lot of fun. Yeah, it was definitely different than what I've done before. I've shot plenty of hogs, but to actually do it at night with thermals, I, that's first for me. Um, there was some dog hunting as well, uh, where people were actually stabbing the pigs while the dogs would hold them down. A lot of people got a lot of uh, adrenaline dump during that one. Um, it's, been, it's been an intense few days. Intense, <laughs> intense few days. But yeah, um, the facilities here at the ranch are awesome. Uh, like I said in the intro, I'm not actually staying here, but you're staying at this one, right? Yes. Okay. I'm in a giant bunk bed, uh, <laughs> sleeping over top of Brandon Herrera. Yeah. 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 That's only going to go one <laughs> way. Crazy. Um, so, yeah, no, it's been a really good time. And uh, hopefully, depending on the footage I got, we'll be able to roll in some stuff uh, in the middle here. We also shot some suppressors today, the mute. Um, and that thing for the weight and, you know, lack of barrel harmonic change that it has is pretty impressive. I particularly like the nine mil version. What'd you think of it? I thought it was really cool. I, what most impressed me was the fact that it's cool. Yeah. You just, you could dump a Mac through it and I'll grab it. Yeah. I mean, that's nuts. Yeah, it's uh, it's very unique uh, material that they're using for it. So definitely cool to check out as well. Uh, Global Ordnance came down, had the Strybog out through their yeah. pistols. And uh, I'm trying to think of what else was out there. Uh, there was other stuff. Yeah, I may have. I had a few people shoot my Derringer. <laughs> yes, yes, uh, 4570 Derringer, not your average Derringer. Yeah. It is a wrist breaker for <laughs> sure. But yeah, no, it was a good time all the way around and uh, definitely glad they had us out. Mm -hmm. uh, anything else you want to mention before we close it up? Good food. Yes, jeez, good food. A little country boil last night. Tonight yes. we're getting ready to have prime ribs, so it's, it's yeah. not a bad way to make yeah. a living, that's yeah. for sure. It's always good seeing you. <laughs> Absolutely, same here. And all the other folks here, uh, Donut Operator, Brandon Herrera, I'm sure you guys are all following them as well. So 
But that's pretty much it. Chuck Liddell as well. Yes, and Chuck the Liddell. The Ice Man, the Ice Man himself. <laughs> but yeah, that's it, guys. Kind of low key vlog video. But if you guys like the video, make sure you subscribe. All those sorts of things. Like all my social, it's here on your screen. Scott's channel will be down below as well. And uh, that's it. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.